We start the frenzy at Cocalico as the Eagles host garden spot and we arrive in the second half with the home team well in front. Home guys in the blue. Anthony Barassa runs with authority. Breaks a few tackles on his way across the goal line. The Eagles out to a 42-7 lead. Garden Spot fights back. They finish off a possession with a visit to the same end zone in the fourth. John Dykey motors around the far side, puts the Spartans into double digits. The rest is just window dressing. Solid W for Kokalico. 49-21 is the final. I'm Todd Sadowski for our Frenzy Game of the Week. We stay in the Lancaster Lebanon League. Mannheim Central travels to Cedar Crest. Wondering if they have the skills players to replace a lot of graduated talent. Andrew Callista has been our guy in Lebanon County all day and night. He shows us what happens when the Barons and Falcons go head to head. Senior night for the Falcons, always emotional. Coach Wildeson, he's fired up for this one against the Barons. First play of the game, the rush shows Cedar Crest bad exchange, and Mannheim pounces on that loose football. That puts a little juice in their sidelines. They would convert that into a field goal. Cedar Crest answers back. Aiden Richards, he was tough all night on the ground. Here's a big run down at the 16-yard line. A couple of plays later, Christopher Dance taps out of the pocket. Pocket, and he finds Nate Brightville for six. PAT no good. 6-3 of Falcons. Grab those t-shirts, socially distanced fans. Coach Han makes some adjustments, and just like that, Judge Novak finds Owen Pappas. Career-long touchdown. He turns on the Jets. 74 yards straight up the gut. 10-6 Barons. That puts a little coal on their fire. Later, Novak finds Wesley Borden coming right into the camera. 17-6 as the outside fans watch on. All right, Andrew. Well, we'll get to that full story there. Mannheim Central ends up the winner in that one. Mid-Pen players and coaches that are watching tonight, we can't wait to see you on the field next week. We have the LL and York Adams to cover in week one, including New Oxford, as they make their debut in Division II and host Susquehanna. The Colonials take the field. Warriors on the road. Not a lot of fans, and none of them are from road teams right now in the York Adams. Now, the defense is the story in this one for New Oxford. Check out the diving interception from Benjamin Lease stops the drive and more importantly gets the ball back. Colonials on the move. Watch Suskie's defensive lineman Luke Immel, number 22. Nice job of shedding the block. Makes the solo tackle on the runner coming through. This one's a defensive battle at this point. Only 3-2 Ox. That changes when the Colonials defense turns into the offense. Forces a fumble, falls in the hands of Britton Eakins. He returns all the way for the score. They put the squeeze on Susquehannock the rest of the way. 24-2 is the final. Let's scoot over to McSherry's Town where Delone Catholic opens up against York Tech. The Squire is always productive on the ground. No different in this one. Tate Niederer follows the trail blockers. Wants to cut up field. Nope, not yet. How about now? Nope, not yet. Hits the sideline, turns the corner. Oh, so close. Taken out at the one. Now he deserves to finish off the drive. So they indeed give it to him and he's in for six. The lead for DeLone Catholic swells to 38 zip. Now, there's no quit in the tech defense. DeLone will lose the handle. Bobble the pitch right here. It leaves the defense a little extra time to make a push and they wrap them up behind the line of scrimmage. The damage is done though. Final is a shutout, 38 and nothing. We stay in the York Adams and check in with a couple of the big boys in Division One. Red line at Central York. The Lions have their hands full dealing with the Panthers team that sports a lot of talent being recruited to play at the next level. Alex Cauley makes Central his first stop of the night. Hey Todd, I am outside Smallsfield right now, but my day actually started over at Central York High School where the Panthers welcome in the Lions of Red Lion. <laughs> Certainly a different feel, but the Central York Marching Band still rocks out. Speaking of rock and roll, the Panthers get rolling quickly. Penn State bound, Bo Pribula finds Taylor Wright rolls. The 36-yard pitch and catch goes for six. Central York picks up momentum. Minutes later, Panthers back on the attack. Pribula rolling left. He's going to find Mr. Wright rolls again for six yards and six more points. Coach not having any Andy Reid problems with the face shield tonight and Central York not having any problems, period. Bo knows throws. Guess who? Right Rawls. He's taking this one to the house. Panthers up 41 to nothing at the break. Right Rawls catches four touchdown receptions in the first half alone. Panthers cruise 55 to nothing. 
From there, we're heading back over here to Smalls Field where York takes on Dover. Just before the break, the Bearcats are on the move and they're going to tack on three more before the horn heading into the half up 24 7. A Johnny Cheshire looking left. He's going to roll out, finds his man, check out the tiptoe in the end zone as the Bearcats score. York's looking to put this one on ice and they do. Check out Kelvin Matthews stopped in the backfield, or so you think. He takes a licking but keeps on ticking, plows in for Pater. York wins big 45 7. It wasn't a clean football game by any means, but still scored 45 points, gave up seven, and that was on a pick, set, uh, pick six. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm proud of the boys. You can see they're having fun. Football's back in South Central Pennsylvania, and we couldn't be more excited for that. The Panthers and Bearcats start their season 1 0. Todd, back to you. All right, thanks, Alex. Time for us to take a break. When we come back, we check in with Lindsay Barna. She travels to a couple of LL home fields. Warwick coming off a strong 2019 season. They travel to Penn Manor. And Lancaster Catholic welcomes Columbia. We also drop by Ephrata, Manheim Township, and Donegal. Plenty more frenzy on tap. We'll be right back.